Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another one of my videos here. Today, guys, I have a Skellige deck for you. Surround the Battle Translator ability. And um, a key feature of this deck is that we're looking to exploit one of the new cards that just got released. Being the Truffle card here. Just to give you, you know, a quick glimpse of what this deck's about. But before we get into this card, I'm going to take this deck from the bottom up and explain to you what card to play when and how to play it best. So obviously our deck revolves a lot around playing alchemy cards and boosting off of alchemy cards, which is why we have the truffle card in here. But um, from the bottom here, as you can see, we've got two crow clan druids. They're gonna boost adjacent beasts by two. So um, the targets that we have for the crow clan druid, uh, obviously all of the crows, those are the beasts that we're looking to do the boosting with. Um, so we've got the crow messengers, You've got crows from Crow's Eye Rhizome that you can spawn. Even the Squirrel's a beast. Nice first round card to kind of banish away your, your opponent's um, tutor cards, such as a Neuromancy. So that's those are the main beasts we're focusing on, guys. We're focusing on swarming crows and utilizing them to our benefit in the first to secure the first round. So don't be shy to use both uh, Crow Clan Druids and Basically try to, as a tip, I would say, play your crows next to each other. Try to space them across the one row. So if they do get damaged and removed, you've got other options to go ahead and boost, um, say the token crows that you spawned and maybe a crow messenger that survived, for example. Because, you know, your opponent could be smart and pick up that you're trying to swarm crows and start killing them off. And then it's gonna reduce the effectiveness of playing the crow clan druid. Okay, so try to stack your crows next to each other. So you stack your crows and then you play this in between the crows. Boost the Jason Beast by two. Um, Squirrel also fits good in our deck because it is a beast. So it will synergize with Axel Three Eyes who boosts himself by one for each allied beast. So not only does it give us an extra point, but you know, it's just nice to have, um, obviously we're seeing some kind of interesting plays now of Skelliger, that new card that sits in your opponent's graveyard from the very first turn. Uh, Squirrel is excellent to banish that. That'd be a very good target to use. And you know, like I said as well, other kind of echo cards, like you see a Neuromancy here, Amphibious Assault, um, Blood Eagle, just anything that comes back. A very powerful play in our deck guys is playing the Crow Clan Preachers. So on Bonded, they'll be boosting themselves by two, meaning as long as there's um, an additional copy plus to this one on the field, right? So we're looking to carry all of the Crow Clan Preachers into the final round when we're playing the Scenario card. Play them all out with a Scenario card and they'll be boosting like crazy together, getting us a lot of points because at that point, we're looking to play all our Alchemy cards out, right? So we're gonna use um, the Truffle card to generate for us another Crow Clan Preacher. And then, you know, at that stage, we're going to use the order ability of Golden Froth, activate it, and we're going to boost all the Preachers up together once we have them all down on the board first, okay? Crow Clan Preachers, final round play. Crow's Eye Rhizome, go ahead and use them all in the first round. Make sure you have a Druid down on the board before you play it. If you have a Druid, spawn three Crows instead of two, right? So it's going to spawn these tokens. So you just want to go ahead, swarm the board full of these crows, the crow messenger, both crows I resume, and then you're dropping Axel three eyes onto the range tree. He's going to boost himself by one for each beast. Golden Froth, I'd suggest taking this in when you're playing the Crow Clan Preachers later in a match, although you can commit one into the first, but like I said, more preferable to use the Crow's Eye Rhizome for the first. Crow Messenger, it makes sense to play this in the first round because you always want to thin out your deck as early as you can in a match, increasing the odds that you're going to draw better cards as you go on. So make sure you have one copy in hand if you're going to play this, the other one in deck. And um, you know if you're going to play it from your hand and the other one's in deck, make sure you have one alchemy card in hand, otherwise it's not going to draw the other copy out, okay? As you can see, as explained by the effect on the card there. Freya's Blessing, um, typically this is very nice to use, say like, um, for example, say I've lost the first round and then my opponent may try to bleed me into the second round. 
It's a very nice way to resist the bleed to go ahead and use Freya's Blessing on a Crow Messenger because it is most likely that we would have played Crow Mother in the first round. And when we play an Alchemy card, Crow Mother always gets drawn to the field when she's not there. So you can imagine you can get eight points with the Crows and then Crow Mother comes back the, as well out from the graveyard as a 12 point play with Freya's Blessing. So that's how we like to use it. Um, so typically the target is Crow Messenger guys, okay? But if not, if a Crow Clan Preacher dies, you could bring it back with Blessing, or you could use it as an activator for scenario. If you're short on Druids, you can go ahead and use it on the Crow Clan Druid as well. In terms of controlling this deck, we do have this card here, it allows you to lock a unit, use it as you need it. Grimmest is an excellent card. Um, Provision cost got changed, so it works a lot better in this deck. It allows us for other plays as well. It is a druid, so you can activate scenario with it. It's got an order on Zill in the range to purify. And um, the interesting thing with this card is the ability gets refreshed whenever we play an alchemy card. I'll give you a tip with Grimmest. We are seeing a lot of those meditating mages being played, and they're an issue for a lot of people to verse. Um, keep in mind Grimmest can purify resilience status, okay? So you could use Grimmest, um, you know, kind of offensive, offensively with that ability to just purify those meditating mages as they get clicked. And they also have the vitality, so the vitality will get cleared too. So keep that in mind. You can use Grimmest like that. Giga Scorpion Decoction, damage a unit by one, six times. So the benefit with this is, um, imagine... A unit that is shielded on the board right your opponent's engine and it's just there shield will stop any initial damage that goes through but this will damage it a unit by one six times so that means it'll do one damage to the shield gets rid of it and then five subsequent damage so this could work really good on cards like hefty helge against Nilfgaard, for example so yeah, axel three eyes really cool card not played often um if you play him on melee, he spawns a crow. So he's seven for seven, but we're looking to play him on the range crow, boost off by one for each allied beast. He is a big um, end of round finisher for the first round for us to seal the deal. So you're basically playing crow mother. She spawns crows. You play crow messengers. You play crow's eye rhizome at the last play of the first round, actual three hours on the range crow, okay? Ermion, um, I did decide to go for Ermion just for extra thinning in our deck to make sure we can get the cards we need by the end of a match. And, uh, you know, he gives us some flexibility to draw a nice card like this one here, which can summon a Skellige unit back from the graveyard. Or he could give you access to removal with Giga Scorpion Decoction. Um, even give you access to Crow Swarming in the first round for a bigger Axel Three Eyes. Make sure you go ahead and play Ermion on the ranged row. Do not play him melee, he's not going to work. With this alchemy card here, it's a very cheap, cheaper version of Renew, cheaper version of this card, right? So instead of having Renew, we'd rather have that other one. Um, at eight provisions, it allows us to summon a Skellige unit from your graveyard to an allied row. So you can use this as a way to ensure you maintain the defender on the board if it gets killed. Um, before you play scenario, first thing you'll do is play defender and usually it gets killed. So then you can just use the alchemy card to bring it right back. Or because we do have Arnegard in this deck, um, a very strong use of the card will be when Arnegard's done trading his damage and he gets killed off, you can bring him right back. So this is a final round card, okay? When you're playing, the, whenever you play Defender and Arna Guard, keep it for that time. Defender, as I just explained, will be in the final round. You put him down uh, before playing Scenario to give protection from Heat Wave uh, and to protect the Crow Clan Preachers down here as well. So the truffle card, right? It's got resilience on deploy, spawn and play a bonded unit from your starting deck. The bonded units that we have are the preachers, as I just explained, guys. You know, there's times when you can have 
four preachers together on the board because we've got two in deck original copies this will give us a third and scenario spawns one as well so you can imagine that popping off with our leader ability which is also an alchemy card madrome together um, try to have them all down on the board as much as possible before you start playing alchemy cards because you'll get more boosting that way but um yeah so you could use this obviously when we're playing scenario we're taking this into the scenario time as an activator for scenario remember that we have a great benefit in using this because it gives us access to a druid so if you're short you don't have to worry about it. this will give you that access with the golden froth um you know you can even use golden froth this is how i like to use it on honor guard right so he's been getting damaged down and then you can click the order ability and boost them back up keep him alive for longer crow mother's a really sick card isn't it i really like the artwork on this one um so yeah as i explained just before spawn two crows in this row on deploy whenever you play an alchemy card she gets summoned from the graveyard to a random allied row so when you play this card, you just play it in the first round as an opener. First thing you do is you hit the stratagem that we have, Magic Lamp, and then you play Crow Mother down. Next thing you do is play one of the Druids before, um, sorry, in between the two Crows she spawned, and then you start Crow Swarming and etc. Axel Three Eyes play at the end of it. Uh, with Arna Guard, gain one armor for every damage to unit on deploy. Just remember that uh we're not necessarily going for the damage here but on adrenaline four whenever your opponent plays a unit on their side of the battlefield damage that unit by anagard's power and so on so um the way i like to play anagard is just before you activate the final chapter of the scenario card you want to put him down and then um you can go ahead and click leader ability and dump it onto anagard and then the next play should be another preacher activating madrome and that charge you put on anagard too so he goes super tall make sure you play him behind defender for protection and as i said if he dies from his exchanges you just bring him back with this alchemy card here okay um heat wave vanish a unit or an artifact i just kept it in here you know because I mean, ST are going super tall with hand buffs, and I think it's just nice to have something to completely remove whatever it is that's there. Just remember, uh, we got a lot of access with Heatwave because we got Gremist, so if you see a Defender, we can just Purify Defender to get past it. We have that flexibility, and Heatwave should be pretty consistent for us in most matches. So yeah, with Getty... Um, this is a win condition of ours. We're going to activate it by playing the Preachers, these cards here. And yeah, we just, we need two, at least two Druids to activate it and just play it in the final round. Then at the top, we've got a Neuromancy, Magic Lamp, and the leader ability allows us to spawn and play Madrome. And remember with our leader ability, we get to heal a random allied unit that's been damaged by one whenever we play an Alchemy card. So it's really good against... Um, factions where they're doing some kind of consistent damage to us like syndicate for example right so this is the deck my friends this deck has almost gotten me to pro rank i'm um, just two straight wins away from pro rank with this a lot of fun to play something different anagard truffle let me know what you think about it and good luck hey size what's up buddy Finally get to watch your stream for a bit before I go cook some lunch. <laughs> Thanks for joining. You are the first person of my stream. Lucky contestant number one. Rain, hey? Ooh, that's nice. That's what we want to see. So we've got to hit Squirrel onto that thing. <laughs> we can't have that around. That card really pops off. Thanks for the SY video you posted. Yeah, you're welcome, Norris. Hope it helps you out. I did post that out about a season or two ago. Just check it and see if you uh, need to adjust the provisions around in the deck. Not sure if it's still consistent. 
But it's a good one. I went 10 and 2 of that deck. Uh, let's get like this. See, so yeah, I just got to rank 1 with this deck here. Yeah, we're kind of imitating each other here. Let's go like that. Great sword. Great sword. Probably lock that. On principle. Since it's your first time seeing me here, I have a pun joke. <laughs> the size of your deck matters. Yes, indeed, my friend. <laughs> Very important. Alright, so in the beginning, we're pretty much crow swarming with this deck. As you can see, we've got Axel Three Eyes. We throw them on the ranged row. Get some good value that way. But we'll just play on with the Druids for now. That's the way, size. Maintain that sense of humor, my friend. That's what we want to do in Gwent, man. You want to have a bit of fun, chill out, play some games together. It's all good. So he goes to 30. Thirty, because this will spawn to ten, and then he's got something else he plays after that. We'll have a look. Oh, he's playing. Yeah, he's playing that too. Right. Oh, how wonderful! Well, look, we got we got this out of them here. Yeah, we can pass. Why not commit less, save our better cards? We'll look to squirrel his graveyard card next turn. It's good, why not? We can get that out of him too. Cool. Still rocking my NG deck, trying to get pro rank this season. Yeah, yeah. Good on you, man. Keep it up. You'll get there eventually. How's it been performing for you so far? Good? You feel like you need to adjust it? Or you're just going to keep it as it is? Axel 3 eyes now. Well, Axel's more of a first round card, I think. We want to go some other stuff now. Grimmest. I wonder if he wants to take advantage of that or leave it. Golden Froth. Tag, right? Now we just go ahead and we scroll this. Definitely want to get that thing out of there, man. This rain play pops off, hey. Be gone. I don't want to see you. All right. So far, it's been good. Got to rank 10. Oh, well done. Congrats. Hey, man. What's up, brother? Thank you. Well, it's afternoon here, but is it your morning there? Good morning to you, too. Damn, you're streaming earlier than I expected. Yeah. Uh, well, my stream, whatever times. Whatever I can get the opportunity for. So, one, two. Okay. Grimmest. Maybe we don't need. <clears throat> Do we need Grimmest? Maybe they got Defender. Uh, let's pass off the Crow. Uh, so we didn't get this card. 
But we got access to Getty. Okay, we'll have a look. So let's go open up with the fender. What is the deck based on? Um, it's based on playing druids and uh, we're using the new card in here. I don't know if you call it mushy or mushy. Whatever, I'm going to call it the mushy truffle. So yeah, I'm taking advantage of this card in here. It works really good. Uh, increase this card's base power by two. Just kill it. Getty. Getty's a lot of points. Alright guys, we're pushing in. Let's see how we do. We're going in deep. Grimmest. Yeah, I was wondering if I should have kept him or not. I was expecting some Melusine Defender kind of nonsense, you know? Uh, should be Defender. And then we're going to play Getty now behind Defender. I think that's the right thing to do. Go like this. We'll keep it consistent with Golden Froth. You know, you always want to have the units lined up adjacent to each other. So yeah, we'll do that. Got to get up in five hours. All right, man. Take care, man. Best of luck climbing back to Peru. Try out seven decks. Damn. <laughs> a madman, a mad hoon. <laughs> right, right. Should be this, right? Okay, that looks good for us. So we're going to drop Arnagard next. And then we're going to go leader onto Arnagard. And then you drop a Druid down. And the Madrone from Getty goes onto Arnagard. And the idea is to get so tall that we should be able to deal with anything that comes down. Yep. That's a strong card, isn't it? Well, you know, we've got even damaged units down here, so it's going to add to his armor, which is nice. Um, let's go... I think I would have placed this card. I think placement here is okay. Alright, let's do this. Yeah, deal with that. Deal with that, come on. Let's go. We're going pro rank today. Come on. <laughs> We're going back to pro, baby. Come on. I want to see that zero. <laughs> Anna guy just taking care of business, man. So what do we got to play here that's nice? Phrase blessing, phrase blessing. Seven points. I think Frey's Blessing is the biggest play with Ermion. Uh, 
gods protect us. Hell yeah. All day. Yes. Yeah. In Gwent, you're always in a tough situation, yeah. And there's no such, such thing as easy matchups in Gwent. You gotta work your ass off for everything, man. And it just gets harder the higher you go. So, okay, we're going first. Gremist. Maybe we get rid of Squirrel, Emion. We need more crows. Uh, okay. I think we're gonna go and open up like this. Let's start like this. Yeah, they can be a pain, man. They can be. New Dino workout routine has been good, been wrecked. Oh, that's great to hear. Really happy for you, man. Awesome, awesome. Happy to hear it's working out for you, Flo. Just the beginning, brother, yeah? Just take your time with it. You're definitely going to feel sore. You know, if you haven't trained in a long time and you start lifting the weights, you're definitely going to feel wrecked. Such a chill card, not overbearing. Yeah, that's true. Um, you know, and it works really good in this deck. We're going for the bonded ability with the Preachers. It works very nicely. Like, we can get up to four, I think it is in this deck, yeah. We've got two in deck, one from Scenario. And then we get a fourth here. Probably don't want to give him that. So I've gone full leader already. Okay. Must be pretty confident with the hand. So in the first round, the idea is that we're swarming crows. With the messengers, um, with the crow's eye. Play crow mother and then we drop Axel three eyes, but we don't have some of those cards here. Boost an elf. Yeah. Probably want to push for last say in this matchup. Could use Ermion to get more crows. So it'll be an eight point play, Crow's Eye, Ermion. Yeah, we'll see how we go for points, you know. We'll have a look. Trying to work a bit with NG soldiers. Ooh, nice, nice. Sounds cool. Double circle. Well, you would have been better off killing the crew, to be honest, I think. Get Crow's Eye now. So we got the Druid next. After that, wouldn't really push on any of these other cards. Maybe Giga. But I don't feel like it's so necessary. That messes with this ability. It needs to be boosted in order to work. So I guess that's decent. Yeah. 
Spit it out already. I don't have all day. It's getting a bit close now, isn't it? Maybe I'll pass here. I don't want to risk it. Yeah, I'm yet to test out the new NG cards. They look very interesting though, I'd say that. Um, I saw Specimen trying out some crazy stuff. <laughs> he had like multiple snowdrops. Looks pretty crazy. I did do a few NG decks already though. That's why I've decided to go for something else now with Skilliger. I don't want to scare people off too much. Crow Mother. Grammist in this case. Not not entirely certain we need Grimmest. See, they probably pass, don't they? We put Crow Mother out here on the pass, get the carryover from her. So they're playing on. Okay, right. Yeah. Time for the sword and axe. Sounds scary to me. I see you and I raise you a crow mother. Take that. Yeah, Dunka. Right. Let's go like this. So playing in here. Getting a lot of boosting in their hand though. Yeah, okay, okay. Let's do that. Got the Fender and Honor Guard next, I'd say. Gets to damage it instead if it's got bonded. So this is here, if he plays the other one, equal to the amount of boost on this card. That's pretty strong. Oh, nice. Sounds like she doesn't like men too much. Alright, we'll play this. Just want to see what they play after this now. Oh, so we take the card advantage, okay. <laughs> She's a dryad, they hate men. <laughs> uh... What about the devotion card? In um, Skoito, with the guy and that, that dryad laying down together. I forgot his name. <laughs> oh, that's funny, dude. Yeah, so the hand doesn't look too bad. Yeah, that one fricks in it, whatever it's called. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, go. 
Right, so we go ahead, we'll bring Defender out first. Then we go Getty, uh, Truffle, Preacher, Anagard. Play like that. Oh, okay, I see. Interesting. Broken. Oh, how so very unfortunate. Okay, right. I think Anagard next. Anagard, I'm gonna hit. Could hit Leer onto it. But we get more value out of the bonded too. I'll just do this now. Play Truffle out, then the other one. Oh, does he have something for Honor Guard? What you got? Ah, oh, dude. Ah, oh, we're out, man. Okay. Get here. Do that. That was a bit unfortunate. Then again, the units are so hot, like boosted so much, it's bound to kind of <laughs> mess with Anagard. This is probably the best hit we could have got to really like stuff him up, I guess. <laughs> Some thick ones, eh? Okay, plays another one. Should I just dump it on that now? Maybe I will. I could click this now too, I guess. Wow, that's a lot of points. That's pretty good. So we get so much uh, benefit out of this bonded status for these cards. Forest Protector. Goes another. Illusion. You've yet to see what they can accomplish. You like the idea of four preachers? Might go. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty nice. I'd recommend it. This would be the play next. Wow, look at that value we're getting here. So last card is... What's the last card? Talk? Yes. 
Guys, we got it. Check it out. Yes! We reclaim the throne. We're making the comeback. Squirrel. Yeah, that's good to see. Yep, crow swarming's looking good. Maybe they play some Tudor, we can use Squirrel on it. We'll see what kind of a Zeal deck they are. Lock, okay, cool. So I open up with Crow Mother. Don't worry you guys, Crow Mummy is looking after us. She's a great mother. You can't go down in rank. Like, um... You know how you've got your certain number of matches you got to win? Like, it'll just go to like zero and you'll just stay on that rank. You only drop ranks um, at the end of a season. Okay, yeah, I mean, we could kill it. Should we kill that early so they don't get value off the patients? Maybe an early kill is good. Oh, actually, we've got the lock too, why not? Let's do that. Hello, I come from YouTube. Um, sorry, links aren't enabled in the chat, but thanks for coming by. Appreciate it, Far Cross. I'll give them two days. It did get some points there, didn't they? Mm, I wonder how this match is looking for us like this. Well, we do get the healing value out of the damage of this. As long as we're playing the alchemy cards up. Hey, hey. Let's just get rid of that. Squirrel's a beast too. So it works with Axel. Yeah, they're getting some value here. Eh? This gives them a lot of value here, doesn't it? Increased by three instead at the end of this turn, if they click it. Mm. Envoy. Well, he hasn't clicked it yet. I think I'm passing on five. At least we don't give him that. He has to play on. 
Press the play on and click that. And then we don't go a card down if he wants to use it. So we'll see. The good thing with patience is that if it sticks, it's super powerful. <laughs> yeah, the if, exactly, dude. If, but it definitely feels a lot better. Ah, so they play on you, see? That's actually good in some sense for us. So we don't go a card down. Or, I mean, at least lose on, lose on the even. Played it there, and we got rid of AA. Yeah, I mean, they get a crap load of value here, but... We'll have a look. We'll see what happens. I'll be releasing a deck guide for this um, on my YouTube channel size, so just keep an eye out there for it. Probably tomorrow it will come out. This stream will be a part of the deck guide, so you guys will be in it. Ah, uh, we got double crow in hand. Crap. Wait, did we get crow mother out yet? We did, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's throw that. Okay, this will be interesting. We've gone to a long round. Do you want to see what we can draw? Do you think uploading videos every day is good? Um, it really depends um, on your schedule, how your viewers are responding to that. I think if you can, why not? I think it's good if you can do that. Just experiment and see what works. Don't be afraid to see how it goes. So we do have Axel and we do have Crow's Eye. Ray's Blessing. What are we using Blessing for? Seven. Yeah, maybe we keep Blessing. Okay, cool. Oh, so we've got a few cards left there. Well, Ermion can get us this, which is nice. Let's just open up with Defender. Thank you very much for the follow, Terak. Appreciate that. Hope you're enjoying the stream. This will be the next deck I'm putting out on YouTube. Thanks for supporting me. So we do play Getty next. We're just doing the same thing every time. Very simple and straightforward. Defender, Getty, play the Preachers, on a guard at some point. It's got Zeal. Yeah, very strong. Very strong, that one. So, bring it back. Okay, that's good. Forced to build hardcore control decks. Yeah, I agree with you, Pocus. Well, it's a good idea, man. Usually they are successful. I guess control just has a hard time against sticks which swarm, you know, because they can disperse their points around. <laughs> Kills it again. Wow, that's solid. I like that. I like that card. Yeah, let's play this now. So we can either go Truffle or Heat Wave. It will depend on what we see from them though. Warriors and Siege Mages, nice. Upload every day. Just afraid my viewers get bored. 
Yeah, it could be the case. I would recommend trying out different factions. Um, that way you're reaching a larger audience group. You know what I mean? Obviously, if you're just doing NG videos, then you're just targeting NG players, maybe. So why not try all factions? Why not make a deck guide for every faction? Just learn them all. And it keeps the game interesting for you too that way. We should kill that, shouldn't we? Donnie me. Yeah, we don't have Grimmest for Purify. Should be this now. Who nicked my mushrooms again? Don't touch the woman's mushrooms, guys. Come on. They give a nice hallucinogenic effects. So from here, I like to get Arnegard usually. Uh, it's not something too scary back there. Yeah, so we're going to do this, right? Arnegard's engaged. He's locked and ready, man. He's ready to kill the scene here. So what we're going to do is, at this point, I believe, we shall play the homie. Down here. We're going to click the leader. That's what we're going to do. Then we're going to activate the next preacher. You get Anagard again. So he's going to have tall punish. Anagard. If he wants to get through. If he wants to have a chance at living in this match. Must kill Anagard. Uh, Truffle's really going to go good here too. Yeah, I think we should go Truffle next. Yeah, Truffle's going to play crazy. It's going to give us another Preacher, and then we've got like a few, um, what do you call it? A few Alchemy cards left. It will be the next play. The Truffle card should be next, and you're into the Truffle, because then we're going to get an extra value out of playing Madrone from Scenario 2, I think. That's the sequencing. Makes sense to me. Yodin! Uh, that's unfair. I'm still playing on, dude. We, we're going for it. We are going for it. This activates scenario. We're gonna put this onto Anagat again. You're not gonna escape that easy. Not even Jordan's gonna save you here. So I think three eyes plays for better value range through here. One more point. Praise blessing. Yeah, because we got Crow's Eye. And we can use the order onto Anagard to give him a bit more boost. Works nice. Yeah, well, nice, nice guys. We're doing good, we're doing good here. Uh, so it's gonna be for the Druid, right? Let's go up here. Let's click this. I think now's good. There we go, there we go. 9 point Arnegard, 61 points on the board. It's going down. The victory is in our grasp. Oh, it kills Arnegard, eh? We got points, don't worry, we got points. We got points, homies and homets, don't worry about it. Check it out, check it out. Ah, oh, we climbing, man, we climbing. I can see pro rank coming, I can see it. 
It's on the way. Axel Three Eyes, bringing it home for the team. So it's a play for 11 points here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 11 point play. Badass. Very nice. Renew? It's gonna renew. Please this now. Wow, crap, this points do. Come on, baby. Give us the W. Oh, get shiny too. No way. Oh, they got some points coming up though. Crap. They got five and nine. Uh, I think they got us. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's right, because they drew it on the range track. <laughs> Man, I was freaking out, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, we lost that. 